What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about how guys take advantage of your red flags and the problems your red flags cause. Okay, so before we even get into this, if you can, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. Also, I have a new guide coming out, a guide on my value, or not my value, but on value. Everything you need to know about it, right? How to get a guy back or regain value, why guys are pulling away to begin with, how to build rapport, how to get a deeper connection with him, how to win him over, all these kind of things. Okay, so that'll be out in the next couple of weeks. Just keep your eyes open. So, jumping right into this, here's the thing. I want you to understand first that all red flags, and when I say all, not literally all, but a huge majority of them, are caused by insecurities, okay? And you can be a very confident woman, and you can be very confident in yourself, but the minute a guy doesn't text back, or text back right away, or you feel like he's pulling away, or he's playing these mind games, or whatever it is, your mind starts to unfold, right? It starts to unravel, and you start to go down the, the, the rabbit hole, and you get in your own, you start, you start to create scenarios, and you feel like he's pulling away, and that he's not as interested, and then you start showing red flags. Now, a majority of these red flags would be clinginess, over-texting, um, Oh, you know, over pursuing, um, seeking his validation, uh, moving too fast too soon to try to, you know, cling on and uh, seal the deal with him, so on and so forth. Now, when that happens, it's like feeding cancer. Two, th two different things are going to happen. Either the guy is going to push you away and, and go, you know, and say, uh -uh, I'm skedaddling, bye. I'm not, he's not going to deal with it, okay? Or the other thing is, if he's a low ego man, again, it's just, the, the best analogy is it's just like feeding cancer. Literally, if it's cancer, a.k.a. a low ego, low value man, he sees that a mile away, okay? And he gets the, and he gets the, the yeah, hey, 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 he gets the sense of it, you know, maybe not even in, in the beginning, but when you, you know, let's say in the beginning you're cool, like he starts talking to you and you're cool the first day or two, but then you start over texting, it starts to send, hey, you start to smell it, and he's like, oh man, this girl, this girl is desperate, okay? And I'm not saying you're desperate if you're over texting, but that's the sense he gets. Like, like there's a reason someone's over texting. There's a reason someone's always wanting to talk on the phone. There's a reason a girl's trying to tie a, gay, a guy, a gay, a gay down so early. You know, there's a reason a girl's trying to uh, tie you, uh, uh, the guy down. There's a reason she's moving so fast to try to get the relationship. There's a reason some women put out early to uh, to try to say, hey, you know, I, I'm putting out, I want you to like me. Like, like, all these red flags happen for a reason. And if he just gets the, again, the sense of it, then he knows something's up. And he, if he's a low ego man, he's going to take advantage of it. So one of the things and one of the reasons why you attract the same type of guys is your insecurities. Believe me, if you were to, women, you will never have a guy do you wrong if you actually had a backbone. I'm, I'm kind of going on a, a harsh rant here. But if you had a backbone and you said, no, I'm bye, I'm done with that, okay? Yeah, you'll be kicking a lot of guys to the curb, but you wouldn't be putting up with bullshit either. A lot of women want to justify why a guy's doing what he's doing and hopefully stick around, you know, hopefully, hoping he changes or put this guy on a pedestal and think he's this one and only and that she's willing to take the risk or willing to do this or that, you know, in hopes that the guy sees the better of her and the relationship and the situation they're in. No. Listen, if you're a high-value woman, what you would do is say, Sayonara, dude. I ain't putting up with this bullshit, okay? And then you tell him, you tell him what you want, and then you, you know, you take your hike. And um, if he can't comply with you on the same level, then that's. I mean, you have to be realistic with it, though. Like if you're, if you're one of those girls who are like, I want a relationship and I want it now. If you don't want to give me that, the sayonara, okay? Then you're gonna be saying bye to a lot of guys. But like I always say, at the six to eight week mark, if the guy's not giving you what you want. And uh, and you're hoping and you're you're on your 10 weeks, 11, 12, 13, 14. You know you're in three months in, four months in, and he's still not giving you what you want. 
that's where he starts to take advantage of you. And that's where your red flags are extending his stay, okay? You need to cut him loose and say, hey, we're, you know, we're four or five months in. I was wanting a relationship. You're not giving me that. You know, text me or get a hold of me when you want the same thing. I'm not mad at you. I, I, I'm not holding anything against you. We just want different things, you know. So I'm going to head out. And if you want the same thing as me, just text me. Do not text me otherwise. And then just do your thing. But see, no one likes that answer. No Women want the red pill, right? They want the little magic pill that says, no, show, you know, Kazam, you know, show me how to, how to change a guy and to make him like me. You know, that's not going to work. If, if it's a low ego man, he's taking advantage of you, there's a big chance that he's not going to flip and change because, one, he already got what he wanted, which is probably the sex, and two, he already knows what he's getting into, okay? He already knows what he's getting And what I mean by that is he already kind of knows what it's like to be in a relationship with you, and he's already seen your red flag, so why would he date you? So it's important to play your cards right from the beginning, and that's, and that's controlling your red flags. If you can control your red flags from the beginning, uh, now, a low-ego man is a low-ego man. He's still going to try, but you're going to get a better sense of it if you show your red flags or if you don't show your red flags, right? And uh, and have him take advantage of it. And again, if you don't show your red flags, and you you know you obviously raise your value because you don't have red flags. Now everyone has them, of course. But I mean, you know, the more not the merrier. Okay, you want the less. Um, so with that being said, ladies, I love you. Take care. If you haven't, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I love you forever. And peace.